Hi guys, welcome back to the shed. I've just been doing a little bit of behind the scenes on the Kingswood door, but it's important stuff that I need to talk about at this stage. So I've decided to grab this bit of footage and we'll just lead into the video with it. I've welded our patch in here completely, and this is the piece we made with our wooden hammer form. And it's come up really nicely. I'm really happy with that. All I need to do now is grind that off and prep it ready to go in the door. Now, we'll have a look at the back as well at this point. We've got really good weld penetration all the way around. And where the frame actually runs through this area here, I'm going to have to grind my weld away on the back as well to allow this piece of frame to actually sit back in there just like that. So it's almost just going to sit in that corner there. So a bit of ground out of there and it'll pull down nicely on that. I'm at the stage now where I'm starting to fit the panel into the door, but I've just roughed it out at this stage because I've got some repairs to do on the frame. And what I really wanted to stress here is even though this frame has got this bent area in the corner here and we will be cutting that away, it's very important that we straighten this out now to relieve any stress that might actually be in the, the wider part of the frame. I can't see the damage. It's curled down in there. So we've got this bent area that rolls around. So what I'll do is just grab a hammer and dolly and give it a little bit of a tap in a minute. But first of all, Here's the piece I've cut off. Now this had the same sort of damage. These edges were, have been done with an air chisel and they were all rolled and bent. I've tapped them out as best I could, but where the frame was in the way, I haven't been able to straighten these out. But I've taken a bigger area out altogether, but even so, I wanted this top edge to actually be straightened before I started cutting the panel, just so when I weld into it, there's no built up stress anywhere that's going to want to cause a little waffle where it wants to sort of warp up as I'm trying to weld it. So always try and minimise the risk. Now very simple guys, we just want to get this damage where it runs back into the frame like this. And although it looks like it's confined to this area here, it actually spreads right out into the rest of it. So by repairing this piece here, will relieve any stresses that are almost sort of built up in here that can cause a problem for our weld. This is 16 gauge or 1.6 millimetre thick stuff, so it's gonna need a good belt with the hammer to shift it. Now we don't have to get all that fussy with it. If we just get most of it back to roughly where it should be, it's good enough for what we want to do because we're going to cut it off anyway. But I'm going to curl this little piece back out to where it should be. And the other thing I sort of want is this edge here straightened out a little bit. That's got it better. Let's straighten this line up through there a bit. If we just give it a quick tap this way, I'd say we're almost going to be good enough. I've got a burr in there, I'll curl him out of the way. Once again, air chisel, guys, not the best tool for um, putting speaker holes in doors. I'll just flip it over. Back around the other side. That's probably about good enough, I'd say. A little bit in here. So here's our replacement section, and because it came from a very dead door, because let's face it, we don't want to cut up a good door, it's a bit rusty. So 
I can salvage it from about this point across into here and I've got all this material up here and when we look at our door I can get a cut across here run it through there and cut it through there and it should work perfectly so just sitting that in there I've got plenty of material to play with so I'm going to be very safe so from here it's just a matter of cut the piece out match this piece up bit of hot glue weld him in there good as done talk to you soon guys stay safe